once thought impossible. With more on the Lakers' comeback season and Sunday's playoff game against the Grizzlies, we're joined by Jovan Buha, staff writer for The Athletic. Uh, he is also the host of the Stargazing podcast. We want to put that information up on the screen, which highlights the faces and figures and influencers that have defined NBA subculture. Um, welcome. I've been a big fan of your writing for a long time, which is why I wanted to have you on. And I just found out that you not only you went to my high school, Agora High School, and my college, USC. So now I know I, we really like you. Uh, congratulations on, on all the good work you do. And, and you're Thank one you. of the few reporters that's in there for the locker room for every game. Uh, so you've really gotten to know these guys, gotten to know their moods. Can you take us behind the scenes after the, the play-in game? What's it like in the Lakers locker room? Yeah, this was a group that was, first off, very tired uh, after playing an overtime game, 53 minutes. Uh, LeBron played 45 of those, of course. Uh, but a group that was very happy and, and a group that I think kind of got that, um, you know, sort of baggage off of their back that had been weighing on them really all season as they, uh, you know, started the season 0-5, 2-10. Uh, Darvin Ham wrote on the, uh, you know, the whiteboard in there, 0.3%, uh, uh, which was the what, what the Lakers analytical part, the department uh, wrote, uh, you know, and then kind of told them these are our current playoff odds after they started two and ten. So uh, I think, you know, for, for them to kind of have that start to the season and then end up being the seven seed, uh, I think a lot of people are picking them to win this series against Memphis. Um, it, it's just kind of a, a night and day difference. Yeah, 0.3 percent chance of making the playoffs, and and there they are. But that team that they started the season off is not the team they're playing with no. now. Uh, they got rid of Russell Westbrook. Uh, they made a bunch of changes, including bringing in. Um, Jared Vanderbilt, who you've got a new profile on The Atlantic about. Um, can you compare and contrast the mood of the team with that other team and what we're seeing now? It's a much happier team, and I think that the energy is lighter in the locker room. Uh, you got a younger group. Uh, you got a group that's actually kind of been together in other spots. Uh, D'Angelo Russell, Malik Beasley, and Jared Vanderbilt all play together in Minnesota. Uh, Malik and, and Jared have actually played together in, in four different teams now. Uh, so I think uh, just, the, you know, that kind of camaraderie that those guys brought in, uh, a lot of those guys have, have talked about it kind of over the last few months of, like, we want to bring in a new energy. We could kind of tell something was off when we got here. Uh, I think LeBron being out and then coming back, like he talked about having a new appreciation for uh, his teammates and, and kind of this group and what they could do. So uh, I really think this is a group that has been trending in the right direction. They had the best uh, record in the West after the All-Star break. So uh, I think, you know, uh, things are looking good. And playing the best defense in basketball right yep. now. And you think about that bubble team. That team was number one in defense, and that's when they won the championship. So uh, LeBron knows a lot about basketball, right? And every once in a while, he likes to show that off. So you asked him a question after the game the other night about the Grizzlies, the team they're about to, to play. And here's uh, what he said. No, really good team. Very well coached, very well balanced. Obviously, the head of snake is John Morant. Um, but another all-star in Jaron Jackson, who was up there, one of the defensive player of the year. His ability to block shots, but offensively, he's you know, very dynamic as well. Tyus Jones, uh, the point guard off the bench, has led the league in an assist turnover ratio like the last six years. And that went on for a while. Went through every <laughs> single player on their team. Uh, talk about this matchup uh, and, and what we should be looking forward to. Yeah, I think on both sides of the ball. So for, for the Lakers, uh, the key is going to be getting Anthony Davis the ball. Uh, Memphis is a bit shorthanded in the front court. Steven Adams, their starting center, is most likely out for the full series. Brandon Clark, their backup center, is definitely out for the full series. Uh, so they're without two of their three big men. Now, the one big man that is there is Jaron Jackson Jr., who is the defensive player of the year favorite. Uh, so he's going to block a lot of shots. He's going to alter a lot of shots. He, he's a big factor in the paint. Yeah. But if Anthony Davis could get him in foul trouble, that's his one weakness defensively. He averaged five fouls a game uh, against the Lakers in the regular season. So if AD can attack him, get him uh, in foul trouble, that's a big key for the Lakers offensively. Yeah. And then defensively, it's going to be the transition game where Memphis is number two in the NBA in transition points. The Lakers are 27th in uh, opponent fast break points. So if the Lakers can't you know, prevent Memphis from getting out in transition, getting some easy baskets, uh, I think this could be a short series for the Lakers, uh, but I think that's going to be number one on the uh, on their game plan. And you're heading out on the road. We're out of time, but in like one sentence, what's the coolest part about being on the road with the Lakers? Uh, just traveling the cities I would never go to probably otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> but like I'm going to spend six days in Memphis, and I'm really looking forward to it. All right. Thank you very much. Check out his work, by the way, at theathletic.com. Subscribe there. You can see his work with Pau Gasol and lots of other folks as well. Um, thank you so much. Making Agora High School proud. <laughs> well you. done. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. Great job.